Welcome to the Storer Setup walkthrough. This guide assumes you have connected your Storer to your home router and power supply and takes you through the installation wizard on the included resource CD. This walkthrough was made using Windows XP. First, click on step one, set up your Storer. Accept the end user license agreement. Now you need to register your Storer so you can gain uh, instant access to it online. So you have a product key that's either on the CD sleeve or on the underside of the unit. So you enter that initially. You also need to choose a name for your Storer. You also need to remember this as it's the name that you'll use to access your Storer remotely from anywhere in the world with an internet connection. And click on Next. Now you need to enter your username uh, and password. You'll also need to make a note of this so you can access your Storer at a later time. We'll just use simple admin for now. and select a password that you'll remember. Okay, at this point your Storer will check to make sure it's running the latest software. If it's not, it will download and update itself. Um, our Storer here is already running the latest, so we can just click on Next. And we need to choose an email address uh, that Storer can notify us of any problems through. and then click Next. Okay, at this point you can choose whether you want to try the Stora Premium service for 30 days, um, which gives you a lot of extra features including remote access through your mobile phones, RSS support, and secure FTP as well. So we'll say yes, we'll sign up for the Premium trial and click Continue. And there you go, your Storer is now configured and ready to use, so we'll click on Finish. We won't go to step two right now, what I will do is open up a web browser and show you how easy it is to access your Storer now you've configured it. You quite simply go to your address bar and choose www.mystorer.com. Enter the name of the store that you've just configured and the login details. And click sign in. And there is your storer ready and waiting to be used. We can click on Media Library quickly, and there you have your storer ready to uh, be loaded with your favourite media and used accordingly.